Right, so this is a tutorial about how to use the grease pencil for animation and the main things we'll be going over is best practices and tips on how to get the most out of the grease pencil and how to work with it so that it's easy and doing what it's designed to do which is speed up workflow and remove a lot of the arduous tedious tasks that uh, are often associated with 2D animation. So to begin, I'm going to just click on the 2D animation template and that brings us into Blender and it's very advantageous to start 2D like this because Blender do a lot of the initial setup for you. They give you a solid fill that's ready to go, they give you a solid stroke that's ready to go. They also set you up with a lines and fills layer and of course the stroke object up here. So for this demonstration, I'm going to go with Winnie the Pooh because Winnie the Pooh is a nice open piece of IP at the moment and it would be nice to animate that character so I'm going to go and find one of the original Winnie the Pooh drawings and very much create a free quarter drawing of Winnie the Pooh with arms and legs and then I'll probably make the character do something quite simple like look left or look right. So I'm going to click on the scene collection up here and create a new collection and I'm going to call that refs for references and with that collection selected I'm going to drag and drop my image into Blender like that. So there we are. Now that's landed directly onto the camera and that's because I'm looking through the camera. That's not actually what I want because I think having images attached to cameras can be quite limiting when it comes to working on your drawings in 3D space. So I'm going to press undo to get rid of that come out of camera mode and I'll just snap to orthographic mode. When it comes to the camera I don't really have any need for it at the moment so I'm just gonna turn that off. Uh, right so drag and drop there we are nice reference image. Now what's frustrating about Blender's reference images is although you have quite a few options over here such as opacity and perspective and orthographic and they do give you quite a lot of stuff to work with they don't have a crop option and that would be really handy right now because I just want to crop out Winnie the Pooh I don't want to have the other characters in the shot so um, I'm going to delete that reference image and I'm going I'm to bring it in as an image on plane instead right so I'm going to select my Winnie the Pooh image and I'm going to click on emit because I don't really want any principal shader or shadeless or anything I'll just go over emit because then it'll just give me a nice clear image that doesn't have any shading on isn't impacted by lighting or anything like that so we'll import that and there we have it so just quickly if when you press shift a and you look for an image and you don't have images as planes you can enable it it comes preloaded with blender and you just want to come in here and type the word image and you should see import export import image as planes Give that a tick and the option should be there. So now I've got this here as a plane, I'm going to edit it and I'm going to use the loop cut tool just to cut out the particular bit of the image that I'm looking for. From there to there, there we are. I'm going to press key free so that I'm selecting faces and I'm going to go to select box. I'll select Winnie the Pooh, I'll press control I and I'll press delete, delete the faces. That leaves Winnie the Pooh in the middle for me as a reference image. Turn that off now. Now this is a plane, it's not a reference image, so you do need to remember to turn off the render display up here so that it doesn't show up in your render at the end. Now he's ready and we have our shortcuts on now so you can actually follow along with me. Um, let's see what's next. So we'll go back to our stroke and in here we can begin drawing. So let's have a look first and see what's going to happen. What do I have initially? I have a grey line. Now it's grey like that because Blender like to give you your strength at 0.6. So I'm just going to turn that right up. There we go. Now I've got a solid line. Uh, I, I'm not going to use I'm not going to use pen pressure for the strength because I'll end up with a lot of half faded in, half faded out, which I don't think I'm I don't think that's going to look so good. I also need to choose my I need, I need to choose my pen and my and the thickness as well. So radius is on. 20 at the moment which is fine I don't I don't I don't think there's a problem with 20 I might make the reference image slightly bigger but I'm not really going to trace poo that much I'm just going to uh, I'm just going to sort of use this as a guide a visual guide 
I'll get the outline of poo with it, but I, I won't get any further than that. Now notice what just happened there. It's keying this plane, and that's because auto key is switched on here. I'm just going to turn that off for now because it's going to cause trouble. I'll hold Shift and Alt and press I just to wipe that, wipe that, and wipe that. So there's no more keyframes on this plane. I don't want it jumping around everywhere as I'm trying to draw. So let's have a look at this now. I'll press Control Tab to go to draw mode. And yeah, like I say, you can see the thickness of my brushes. Depending on how hard I press, it's, it's changing. And I'm not so sure that's a good idea here, so I'm going to just turn that off. Also, what brush shall I use? I'll probably go with the rough ink pen brush so that I get a slightly quirky look going on. Yeah, that's fine. Now, my radius is controlled by pen pressure, and I'm okay with that. Let's just see how that looks. If I switch this to 20, oh, I need to have my number lockers on. Let's turn this number lock off. There we go. So if I switch this to 20, yeah, I get this nice ink pen look. And I'm good with that. Yeah, I think I'll, I'll stick with that. Right, now, before we go any further with Winnie the Pooh, let's just talk about how the interpolation tool works in Blender, because that's really what this is all about.